Hey, what is up everybody? It is AJ here and in today's video, I'm gonna give you five of my top tips to get even more out of your Surface Pro. I'm gonna be demonstrating on my Surface Pro 9 5G. So this is the later Surface right now. It has the ARM process and on Intel, but that's okay because the tips I'm gonna give you are gonna work on pretty much any Surface Pro device. Of course, if you guys do like this video, let me know by giving a thumbs up and if you wanna supercharge the way is your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's jump into this and get even more productive on our Surface Pros. The first tip I'm gonna give you is how to improve the facial recognition on the Surface Pro. Surface Pro has had biometric uh, facial recognition since the Surface Pro 4, and it is really good and amazing way to sign into your computer. But sometimes you may have your hair up or down, you're wearing glasses or something has changed. So what we're gonna do is improve the facial recognition so, matter, so no matter whether you're in low light, bright light, uh, glasses on, glasses off, the computer's gonna recognize you within an instant and sign you in. So let me get my glasses here. See, completely different person. And uh, let's sign in. So all we're gonna do is press the start button and then type in the word face. This is gonna bring up our best match of set up facial sign in. And this is gonna pull us straight into the setting that we're after. So this is gonna pull us into our settings here. And the top one is called facial recognition windows hello. You can of course also set up a uh, fingerprint if you had the fingerprint keyboard, but we're gonna go facial recognition. And then you can see here, there is the option of improve recognition. We're simply gonna select on that. A dialog box is gonna pop up talking about Windows Hello. We're gonna go get started. We're gonna pop in our pin number. And then you can see the computer, I've got my glasses on and it is now just taking a biometric scan of my face. And it says all set. Um, now you are ready to unlock your computer. And if you wore glasses while setting this up, go through the setup again with the glasses off. So you can actually choose to just go improve one more time. And now it's gonna take a scan with my glasses off and it's gonna follow my face around. Cool, let's close that. And I'm just gonna go Windows L, quickly lock my device. It's gonna reg uh, register my face. And it says, welcome back, ready to sign in. Super easy, right? The second tip I wanna give you is about customizing your Surface Pen. On the Pro 8s and Pro 9s, the pen lives down here. Uh, but of course, if you have a Pro 4, 5, 6, 7, it will live on the left-hand side. And I wanna teach you how you can customize the pen pressure of the Surface uh, Pen by simply pressing Start and going over to the Surface app. If you don't have the Surface app, you can download it from the Windows Store, but it'll open up like this. It'll show you some information about your computer. Um, if your device hasn't picked up your pen, mine has it here down the bottom. Simply gonna select on that. And then we're gonna go down to where it says pen pressure, drop down this option here, and then we can choose how much pressure we want the pen to have. So of course, we use the back of the pen as an eraser. If we go heavy, that means we can press lighter and a lot of ink is gonna come out. And if we go lighter, we have to really press to get more or less ink out of the screen. Um, and then of course, if you've made a mistake, you can simply just hit the reset button. This will bring it back to default. I've got a full video of all the different ways you can customize and use your Surface Pen. I'm gonna link it in the description down below because there is just so much you can do with the Surface Pen. So make sure you check that out after you finish watching this video. The next tip is a Windows 11 tip, and it's about customizing your quick actions. So if you select on the button, which is actually your Wi-Fi volume and your battery, select on that, you're gonna get an option here of all these quick settings that you can um, adjust. So whether it's your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, your LT, if you've got a SIM card in here. I'm gonna show you how you can quickly customize this to only put what you want there instead of what is by default. So we're simply gonna select on the little pen icon here, and then we can, if there's something here we don't need, maybe we don't actually want access to the casting, we can unpin it, get rid of the nearby sharing. Maybe you don't really care about battery saving, get rid of that. And you can customize this and you can also, um, you can use the mouse to move them around. Um, but then if you wanna add something back to it, you can select on the add option down the bottom and then you've got more quick settings here. So maybe you actually wanna bring in your battery saver. Maybe you actually wanna have quick access to your hotspot and you use nightlight quite a bit, you can turn that on and maybe rotation lock too. So you can really customize this and it's great when you're using your computer as a tablet because you can quickly find the settings you're after by simply selecting on the Wi-Fi symbol down the bottom. Just gonna go done. 
and then you got all your quick actions just here. And to customize it again, we simply select on the pen icon and you can move these around or press the unpin button to get rid of it and then add is you're gonna add things straight back in. The next tip we're gonna go through right now is specific to the Surface Pros that use an ARM processor because this utilizes the AI chip inside of it. I think this is gonna be an interesting feature and more and more computers are gonna have it in the future as there are more AI chips coming out to the market. But right now, this is only gonna work on the Surface Pros with an ARM processor. The feature I'm talking about is called Studio FX and it uses the ARM processor to take the workload off the GPU and the CPU and puts it onto the AI chip instead. And this allows you to do things with the camera as well as the microphone. To get into Studio FX, it's really quite simple. We're gonna select on that Wi-Fi symbol down the bottom again. We're gonna go studio effects and then we get this pane which has a camera icon for the camera settings and a microphone icon for the microphone settings. I have a full video on the studio effects which I would link down at the bottom for you, but this is a very quick demonstration. So the background effects, I'm just gonna put it on portrait and you notice it slightly blurs the background out. I can turn on the eye contact which is gonna focus and sort of fake my eyelids lifting so it looks like I've got more eye contact on uh, the screen even on the camera even when I'm looking at the screen and then the third is automatic framing where the camera is going to start focusing on me as I move around the screen or move around the room it's going to continue focusing on me uh, which is amazing for vi video calls. The other feature is called voice focus and this drowns out the background noise and focuses clearly on your voice. Um, again I've got a full video on that that I'll link down below I'd recommend checking that out because these features are amazing if you do lots and lots of video calls. A super simple but very important tip on how to use the Surface Pro as a tablet is how do you right click if you don't have the keyboard attached. What you want to do is you want to press and hold with your finger on the screen for a couple of seconds. That square is going to populate around your finger. You let go and then you've done a right click with your finger. So it's really easy. Say you get rid of the keyboard, you press and hold for a couple of seconds let go and you've done a right click. The next thing I wanna show you of course is again when you get rid of that keyboard and use it as a tablet is how you can customize your on-screen or your virtual keyboard. The first thing I'm gonna do is show you how you can bring the virtual keyboard always on your Surface Pro and that's by right clicking on your taskbar and going into your taskbar settings and then I'm gonna have the touch keyboard. You can adjust when you see it. I'm gonna have it always. So I'm always gonna have an icon on the touch keyboard here close that then we select on the touch keyboard here I've got it in a little small mode but I can actually move this around and customize it to what makes it as most appropriate for me this button next to the X is actually the docking button and that's going to drop it so it's full screen on your keyboard in the top left hand corner you have the settings icon and then you can actually change the keyboard layout so you can have it to default like it is now you can go small which is how I typically use it it's more like a phone uh, size keyboard and I push it off to the side. You can go settings again and keyboard layout. You can choose to split it, which is gonna sort of give you thumb controls, which again is really handy when you're using it as a tablet. Or you can go keyboard layout one more time and you can go traditional. And this is just the old school, basically Windows 7 onwards uh, style keyboard. An extra tip I wanna give you here is by pressing the settings and going down to size and theme. This is gonna pull us into the settings of the keyboard. I'm just gonna make it smaller so we can actually see what we're doing here. And you can see here you have all these different themes that you can actually change your keyboard to. So you can have a customized keyboard theme instead of the standard black or the standard white. And there you have it. Those are five of my top tips to get even more out of your Surface Pro device. Of course, let me know what your favorite tips are in the comment section down below. If you did like this video, let me know it by giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to supercharge the way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.